Hi everyone. I'm super excited to have the opportunity to demo probably Scribe Notes' most exciting feature so far, in my opinion. Um, it's our adaptive templates, which have been pretty long awaited. Um, so let's get right into it. So starting off, uh, you'll see our adapt adaptive templates uh, right here in the upper right corner dropdown. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of information here about kind of what adaptive templates are. So uh, adaptive templates basically allow scribe notes to become your own personal scribe. So any kind of existing templates that you already have, you can now use them with scribe note and then scribe note can kind of adapt to those templates to generate your notes for you in the style and the way that you'd like them to. So let's get started and let's make an adaptive template together. Let's click this button and then we'll see the adaptive template builder. We've tried to make this really intuitive. So let's start with the first section here. This first section is all about any preliminary information about your template to help you identify it later on. So uh, we can give it a name. So let's say we want to create a template for our ER rounds. ER rounds. And you can also give it a description, but I feel like the name's already pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna give it one for now. And then the structure or the, the format of the template. So if you want it into four distinct uh, sections, like a soap note, you would choose soap. You want to get a little bit more crazy, uh, maybe format it in a different kind of way, then you can choose the free form. So I'm gonna choose free form because um, I feel like this fits the um, ER format that I want a little bit better. And then the next section is the juicy part here. So this is where we actually get to tell Scribenote what our template look like. If I already had an existing template for my ER rounds, I would upload them here. So I could choose the automatic and then just drag and drop my template PDF right into here. And then Scribenote would read that and generate a template for me. But since I don't have one right now, I'm just going to use from scratch. And this is where I can type in my template or copy and paste it if I don't have a PDF version. If you don't know what to type, if you don't have a template, we make this really easy by providing you with some pre-made defaults. So as you can see, there's already one for ER rounds, but I'll just show you the other ones so you can get an idea of what a template would look like. So the case summary, for example, you can see it's just separated into sections. Um, so different kind of groups of information that you'd like to see. And you don't really need to put any kind of placeholder in there to let Scribenote know to fill it in. It'll just kind of, you know, read those different sections or headings and it'll know what to put there. But uh, when we look at our structured surgery note, if we want it to be really specific and really structured, we can do that as well and just have blanks or placeholders where we'd like that information filled in. So let's use our ER rounds one. And then as you can see here, the three dots indicate that this will basically expand to fit however many rounds we're doing or like however many patients we're doing in the rounds. So in the next section, this is really the last section to building our template. This is the preferences section, which will be kind of specifying any additional kind of stylistic preferences we have with our template. So there's already one pre-filled here to go along with the template that we've selected. And that is to fill in the rounds per patient discussed. And then it also says here to fill in with medical terminology and write in point form. And the world is your oyster here and what you can kind of tell Scribenote to do. So if you want to use more abbreviations or medical jargon, you can do that. You want to specify the units, um, really anything. And we have a really helpful, really handy list of different examples that you could use here, which I will link in with this video. When we're done with that, now we can preview what our template is actually going to look like. Right here, there's a couple of kind of example appointments um, to help you preview your template against. There's several that like, depending on the context of your template would work better. So for me, you know, ER rounds, that's going to match my template pretty much exactly. And, you know, we know that the template's going to make sense with the sample appointment that's selected. So when I've selected that, I'm just going to go ahead and click the preview changes button at the bottom here. 
And as you can see, it'll slide over to kind of make more room for the preview. And then Auto and Scribbles will get working away at building up your template. Now, this usually takes about a minute. As you can see, it's already done. Sometimes it might take a little bit more time depending on kind of how much information you have in your template though. But yeah, we can review this now and we'll see that Scribenote used the sample appointment and then applied our template to that. So we have our template. We can compare actually side by side. So we'll see all the categories and all the sections here that's been filled out with our sample appointment. I'm pretty much happy with this. If you wanted to make more changes, you could just click right over here and then add or remove anything as you need to, whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead and save this template. And then we'll see it back here uh, in our list of adaptive templates. You'll see it's also favorited by default. What favoriting a template means is that it'll just show up at the top of your dropdown when you're creating a new recording, just so that it's like really easy to access. And then if you don't want it uh, in your favorites, let's say it's a template that you maybe don't use as often, then you can unfavorite it as well. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and use your template now. So there's two main ways to use any adaptive template that you've created. The first way is to select it from the drop down here. Now you'll see any favorite templates you have will be there right at the top of the list. You can still apply any of the Scribenote default templates, or if there's one that you maybe don't use as often that's not in your favorites, you can go click here and see all templates. So I'm just gonna use our ER rounds and then just like we've always done, we can record an appointment with that template. Now, the next way to use a template is with a note that you've already created. So I'm gonna use this pack mode one here as an example. And this is an example for uh, multiple kittens. You know, this note has already been generated for us. So this is a really handy case where you know, maybe we didn't have the template created yet. Um, we just had to go, you know, rush into our next appointment. And if we wanted to create the template later on, we could do that and then just apply the template with this button here. So I will select the R rounds one and then we'll wait for it to process. And it's done. So as you can see, it's used our template and it's applied it to all of those kittens that were mentioned in the original appointment. So there you have it. That's how to make Scribenote scribe just like you. As I said before, the world is your oyster with adaptive templates. It's really exciting and I hope you guys love this feature. Thanks.